<laughs> so I'm not really sure where to start. We took a bus from Lawn System to Hobart uh, with a bike on a bus, just add 15 bucks, so that's pretty easy. That's how we came down. And our idea of coming to Hobart was uh, if we're here from work, it's a good place to get back to mainland Australia pretty easy. What not? Hobart's quite a nice city, pretty quiet, relaxed. It's like a Cornish city. I don't want to be like Rick Stein and compare everything to Cornwall though but it's kind of like Falmouth and Drew. If I don't get the work in the mainland, then we can continue up the east coast. We're in Hobart. Ryan's got some family friends just on the outskirts. So we stayed there to recover from all the hills you cycle around Tasmania. It's mental. We spent the first day, I think we went uphill for about four hours non-stop. So that sucked. But it was really nice staying with um, James. Caroline who really looked after us with the fresh food, which is what Tasmania seems to be about. Now I've come down to Signet. Let's see you there. <laughs> I'm doing a help ex, which is basically like woofing, so food and accommodation, but not necessarily limited to uh, a farm. So the minute I'm helping on that boat and in the garden, um, and there's also a big cherry farms around here, which I was hoping to get onto. Because cherry farms apparently the easiest money for fruit picking, but I think I've left it too late. Oh, well. oh. I met a guy down at the pier on New Year's Eve said he needed crew to sail back up to Hobart over three days. So, so I said yes. Phoned up Ryan. <laughs> Captain Bird's Eye. <laughs> Went on our way. And just wild camped, slept in the boat. Just saw some really cool stuff. So, how's that? <laughs>